Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Dub with the Honor Show. Make sure you smash that like button, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. So what I want to do today is address Lil Wayne. Why? 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 No, this is not a hate or a diss video on Wheezy. Lil Wayne is a veteran MC who's well accomplished and has made many contributions and huge impacts on the game. However, due to his high status as a veteran MC in the game, I expect a lot more from him. And lately, I've been pretty let down. Matter of fact, I've been downright disappointed by some of the things he said. Uh, it's, I've lost a lot of respect for him over it. Surprise, motherfucker. All right, so let's get right into it. Listen to what Lil Wayne says is the reason why he loves new rap. The new hip hop, I love it. I love it. I love that it's that it's actually changed. I love that music. It, it changed. You know what I mean? Because back in the G, you had to spit your heart out. Now it's changed. It's, let's just make something that we want that we is cool to hear. We don't have to listen to it. Listening is different than hearing. So when we hear it, we like it, it's all good. So it makes it easier for me. What? Man, replay that. Now it's changed. It's, let's just make something that we want, that we it's cool to hear. We don't have to listen to it. Listening is different than hearing. So when we hear it, we like it, it's all good. So it makes it easier for me. So it makes it easier for me. Good. So it makes it easier for me. Man, if Eminem said that, he would be crucified. Come on, Wheezy, is that any way for I'm the greatest rapper alive to be acting? Like, what about all your fans that have been listening to you for literal decades? Just F them so you can take it easy now? You know, his album Funeral suffered because of this kind of lazy thinking. In my opinion, Funeral sounded like the soundtrack to a damn funeral. I listened to it and it sounded like some modern day mumble rapper stuff. And I was talking about it on Twitter. Some guy kind of wanted to tune me out. He's like, you know, a lot of these mumble rappers nowadays got a lot of their style from Lil Wayne. And I said, that's what's sickening sounding to me. They imitate him. Now he's going to imitate them. So what? Now he's imitating a watered down derivative of himself. Come on, Wheezy. Stop it. Get some help. You know, after relapse and encore, on recovery, Eminem apologized to his fans for feeling like he didn't hold the torch like he did. And encore and relapse weren't even bad. Uh, encore had a couple of lows, but I, I loved the rest of it. And I can't live without it. Same with relapse. It was great. But look at Lil Wayne. He... You know, I stopped listening to him in like 2009 and 10 when he started wearing skinny jeans and playing acoustic guitars and singing to women and kissing Birdman on the mouth and singing shit like the hell to love. It just, I was like, this ain't gangster rap. This isn't for me. But now to hear him say that he's just, uh, you know, he loves how rap has changed so he can just pretty much take it easy and just make shit songs and make lazy music now in so many words. So it makes it easier for me. And now I know that he just talks out of his ass to sound cool whenever a moment arises. He says himself in interviews that he does not write his own songs or lyrics. Here, listen. You ain't write that down, man? I don't write, man. That is not true because I don't write. <laughs> right. But then he said he redid his verse for Drake. A billion times. Listen. Yes, I have changed my verse a billion times because of Drake. It's like, come on. After 50 takes and going over it over and over and over and changing stuff, it's just like writing it down. You're basically writing it down digitally. I find that comical that he thinks he's freestyling when really, like he said, he does a billion takes and says he doesn't, you know, write it out. It's all off the top. Um, another thing I found comical uh, looking at some of his interviews was he said that he doesn't listen to any other rappers, only himself. He only listens to his own music. Take a listen. Because I don't listen to no other hip-hop but my damn self. But now listen to this. He says that he doesn't know the words to any of his songs until he has to do a show and he makes a playlist, then he has to memorize them because he doesn't listen to his own songs. He says he can't because 
to him they're not finished. L listen. Every song that I ever put out was unfinished. <laughs> I can't listen to songs that are out already until it's time to till Cartaz put it on a a play a set list for mean um, meaning for my show, and that's when I have to listen to the song because I have no idea what the words are. Um, I think you guys saw that on a couple of TV shows. Yeah. Um, that's the only time I go back and listen to it because I can't listen to it because simply I'm still working on it. So which is it? You only listen to yourself or you can't listen to your music because in your mind it isn't done yet? I can't listen to it because I don't listen to no other hip hop but my damn self. And that's when I have to listen to the song because I have no idea what the words are. That's just Wheezy talking out his ass to sound cool in interviews depending on what he's talking about. You know, Eminem would never pull that crap. Look at, like I said, he apologized on that one song, even though he didn't need to. Uh, on Not Afraid, he apologized. And he's still going strong to this day, releasing fire. Uh, Lil Wayne, his music is suffering because his heart just isn't in it. I mean, you heard him. Listen. Yes, that makes it easier for me. Well, everybody, thanks for listening. Again, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, everyone. God bless. Have a great night.